Hello. This is a Nomad Sculpt tutorial about creating very low poly um, yes, objects from a SVG um, to a STL file. And you can make collections like this, a medieval collection. Um, let's go to the Nomad Sculpt app. These are yes, such objects. Um, the file size when I exported um, this uh, small megabyte size, uh, no problem. Um, and if you want a single object of this uh, collections, um, you can use the cell mask. Please make sure that um, front, front facing vertex only is off and now you can mask this part and in the mask you can extract it. Uh, be careful with the border smoothness. Now when you extract this mesh, um, it's possible to um, adjust it now. Voxel remesh, keep sharp edges and remesh it. Uh, higher resolution. Yes, then you got such meshes. And yes, you can do what you want with it. Um, okay, how to do it? It's a uh, internet thing. You can search for vectors. Black and white is the best. And let's use this uh, medieval heraldic. Let's um, press a finger and save it to the camera roll and it doesn't matter if there's a, a watermark in it um, or okay, let's choose this one or this let's test this one i save it and now we need a, a free web application the the links are in the com, uh, in the description. Here you can upload your file. Let's test this one with a watermark and use it and start conversion. It's that's it. And now it's here in the downloads and. Yes, this result is not very nice. Let's test the other one. Save it. Yes, this one is nicer. Oops. This is a nice SVG file. Um, very clean. It's nice. And now you have an SVG and we need a STL. This is the next page. You can upload your file here. Choose your STL, upload it. And here you can, yes, uh, five millimeters is okay, convert it. And now you can download the file. Takes a few seconds. Okay, it's ready. And let's go to Nomad Sculpt. I delete this object. And here's the STL. You can drag and drop it. And now it's possible here the text we don't need, you can split it off. What happens? Split is active and zack. not split, trim, sorry. My error. And yes, but you can also split the mesh, um, like uh, when you need only this one, um, split it off. And the file size is now, when you export it, 
2.3 megabyte. Yes, that's it. And you can store here many collections like this. And it works as yes, the contours are real sharp. Yes. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.